to my channel and if you are new here hello my name is Jessica I am the blogger behind Miss More Style and here on YouTube I make videos about affordable fashion beauty lifestyle and travel so if you're interested in living your most chic and fabulous life but on a budget then you definitely want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and while you're at it you might as well just ding the little bell that will just send you a notification when I upload a new video typically that is two sometimes three times a week today I have got a really fun Shein haul for you guys I know you love Shein I do too and I have a really fun theme for this Shein haul and that is vacation worthy fine so I have so many really fun very colorful bright tropical Fun pieces are perfect for any sort of summer vacation that you could be going on. And a lot of these pieces are very reminiscent, shall we say, of one of my current favorite brands, Farm Rio. I feel like this theme couldn't come at a better time because Nate and I are leaving in like a week to go on a Mediterranean cruise. We're going to be going into the south of France, to Olbia, to Ibiza, and then we're going to Paris afterwards. So definitely got some really great, very tropical destinations coming up for me personally soon. So I'm so excited. Make sure that you subscribe if you want to follow along on all of our European adventures. And also if you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely go follow me there because that's where you can sort of follow along with me when I travel in real time. We have a lot of fun on stories. As always, everything I'm going to share with you all is going to be linked down in my description box. So if you just go down there, you can find all the links to everything that I'm wearing as well as the size that I got you can super easily shop anything that you're interested in from this haul but let's get right into it this dress we're starting off strong y'all because I am obsessed with this dress I mean the pink tone is so freaking cute I am just such a sucker for anything with like a banana leaf print I, I can't help myself honestly I wish I could like have this print be wallpapered in my kitchen but Nate will never let me so I just wear it on my clothes instead um, but I am so impressed with this dress the way that it's made its construction feels really really quality it feels definitely really true to size like it fits me in all the right places it's nicely fitted through the waist and the hips without being um, like without pulling or gap like gaping at different areas or being unflattering it just it fits perfectly and it has these little tie straps so you can tie them how you like however high up or low that you need and then also ties here in the front which sometimes dresses like this that tie in the front don't really work for me because once you've tied the fabric it kind of like makes the fabric less and less over the boob area and that's not good for me but with this it's perfect and I could tie it even a little bit tighter I feel like if I wanted it to feel a little bit more secure but love it I love the little flounce hem it's just so cute this might be my favorite piece in the whole haul and I know we just got started but I just have a feeling this is gonna be the one that I love the most just because it is so freaking cute so ready for the French Riviera in this dress this next dress I <laughs> it took me like 15 minutes to figure out how to get this on my body as you can see it is very backless and very strappy so it's got like sort of an asymmetrical thing happening here with the two straps and it is really a gorgeous dress now I know I definitely should have ironed or steamed this before I filmed I've just been kind of like low on time so I didn't really get into doing that but it is a really nice material it kind of feels like a linen-y sort of fabric I don't think it's like completely linen I wonder if is this the tag yes let's see it's 30% linen 70% viscose so it, because it has so much viscose in it it kind of helps it feel a little bit softer than a traditional linen would feel and I really love it but that being said because it does have that linen in it it will wrinkle a little bit easier than other fabrics, but I do feel like when you're wearing something linen, people do kind of expect that from linen because that's just the nature of that material. I, I like this dress a lot. I got a medium, and if you've been watching for a while, you know I kind of have like a larger chest, so it's harder for me to wear dresses like this that are backless um, because obviously you can't wear a bra, but I do feel like because it does have the crisscross tie in the back, you can kind of tie yourself into it and give yourself the support you need, if that makes sense. Tied it up to a, a degree where I feel like everything is in a place where it needs to be and feels secure and I think it's really really cute the backless aspect of it is so sexy it goes pretty low in the back and then it has this little um, side zipper to help you get into the bottom it just is very flattering the way that the sort of cutout happens the cutout that goes kind of in the front of your torso and I, I love this green color it's so so pretty I mean this dress I think comes in like five other colors but this is the one that really like spoke to me the most such a gorgeous gorgeous color so if you're looking for a sexy sort of summery maxi dress this one's great and for all of you guys who are a little bit larger chested I feel like you can definitely get away with wearing this without a bra which is great because it's so rare to find a great backless sort of dress that is possible to wear for us bigger busted ladies 
so a plus plus in my book this dress i had some hopes for and i also kind of knew deep down that it probably wasn't going to work for me but it is such a beautiful dress i'm really bummed that this top part is just oh my god i got a medium in this dress as i get in all the shein things and i just feel like i i have to be conscious every move that i make in it because any sudden movement and my boobs are going to fall right out of this situation. So I think what it has to do with is just the construction of this area. It's just not very well executed because it is Shein, so they're not really creating a situation that is supportive of the girls. And with this twisting situation, the way the fabric goes, the underneath part just isn't holding things where they need to be held. So I'm going to have to give this dress to a friend. Otherwise, it is so, so cute. I love the fun, bright, bold colors. Pairing it with um, a Shein bag that I got a couple summers ago that's like basically such a good Jacquemus dupe that I love. I don't think they carry it anymore, but I'll link some similar fun straw fringy bags that they offer. But yeah, this dress might work for you if you have a bit smaller of a chest. But for me, I just feel like I have to really, really... I mean, even right now, just standing still, I'm feeling very self-conscious about it. So maybe not for you if you have a similar bra size to me, but such a cute dress, definitely very Farm Rio. And I mean, so, so cute if you can pull off the top part. Maybe some double-sided tape would help, I don't know. So this next dress, I didn't even really bother to style it into an outfit because I don't really love it. And I think where my dislike of it starts is this neckline. I just feel like it comes like up higher than I would like it to come. Like I feel like if it came right here and the straps came down to meet it, that would be cuter. But because it comes up a little bit higher, it just doesn't look as cute. And then also considering the fact that it's like my strapless bra starts to like fall down and just makes things look not super flattering in the chest area, in my opinion. I think if I had like smaller chest and I didn't have so much going on, it might not be the case, but just something about the way that this neckline is does not look great. It's got these cute little tie straps, which I like, and I love the print. I love the colors. Um, the fit of it is great, but I also feel like the, the next thing that I don't love about it is the fabric. The fabric just is like that really cheap Shein feeling fabric, you know? And it's really interesting because some of the pieces in here, I feel like the fabric is fantastic and the piece feels really well made and well constructed, um, but this one isn't. So it just kind of goes to show you when you shop at Shein, you just have to kind of take it um, piece by piece. Some things will be hits, some things will be misses. Um, thank goodness they have free returns because just send it back if it doesn't work. But yeah, this, this is not a winning dress in my opinion, and I don't think I'll be keeping it. I'll probably be um, putting this on my Poshmark or giving it to somebody who might want it. But yeah, kind of a bummer. Cute idea, just not really executed very well. So moving on into some tops that I got because there are some really fun blouses and things on Shein right now that fit right in with the vacation theme. This blue and white floral top is so cute. So I'm always a little skeptical about these types of blouses from Shein, but this one is one of the better made ones, I think. And I love that it has this sort of like bustier style going on in the bodice. Um, the way that it's stitched, I just feel like it kind of like holds everything in. It makes me feel like everything is nice and secure. Even though I do have to wear a strapless bra with this top, it just, the way that the top is constructed, it just feels like it holds it up. So I'm not constantly like, tugging on it which is amazing because that is one of the things I hate about wearing a strapless. I love that you can wear it up on the shoulder if you want or you can just take it down and wear it off the shoulder as well and it looks so pretty and so feminine. The sleeve is very very dramatic. It has a lot of voluminousness to it. You could pull it down a little bit if you want to like sort of tone down the bulkiness of the sleeve or you can kind of like bring it back up on your arm if you want to accentuate the um the billowy sleeve look a nice little hidden zipper in the side to help you get in and out of it and it's great i feel like if it's true to size this is a medium and it fits perfect i love it with these sort of like golden colored pants i'm a huge fan of yellow and blue together it's one of my favorite color combinations i totally see this being perfect on like a vacation in greece or something okay so i'm here in my little spanx shapewear bodysuit which is fantastic by the way i'll link it down in the description if you guys have been looking for a good shapewear bodysuit. I love that it's strapless or it can be strapless and it does definitely stay up better than a traditional strapless bra but also comes with detachable straps that match it and detachable clear straps. So awesome. But anyway, had to wear it because this top is uh, not not great. I, I don't understand what they were thinking when they made this. I thought when I saw it on the model that there would be some like armhole somewhere or something but it's just like one big 
set of two ruffles and that's it. So at first I was like, okay, do I just wear it like a tube top? But it's way too big to wear as a tube top. It just falls down. So I'm like, all right, the model had it off her shoulders like this. So he put it around my shoulders. But now if you wear it like this, like God forbid, you have to raise your hands for any reason or else you're going to be flashing everyone. So this top just doesn't make any sense. It's not a top. You can't call this a top. It's just, no, absolutely not. It's gonna go in the big fat no pile as well, just because it's like so unfunctional as a top. I mean, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Don't buy this top, okay? I guess I'm keeping the bodysuit on for this next top because I have yet another fail. And this time I don't think it was totally Shein's fault. It was my fault because I did something that I don't usually do. I read the reviews and I allowed what people in the reviews said to dictate how I was going to buy this garment. So I looked at the reviews and a lot of them said size up because it's tight. So if you have a bigger chest, size up, size up, size up. So instead of going with my regular medium, which I always do, usually always fits perfectly from Shein, I got a large and it just is, it's too big. It's got way too much room in the bust and I could never wear this because basically I'd have to wear it without a bra, obviously, but it's not tight enough to hold everything in. So it's going to be a no, it's going to be a no, which is such a huge bummer because this is such a cute top and I should have just gone with my regular size, but instead I, I listened to other people and I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> so that being said, if you really like this top, don't listen to the reviews, listen to your fashion bestie, Jessica, when I tell you, take your normal Shein size even if you have a, a bigger chest like I do. It will be too big. I'm so bummed about this. I really wanted this top to fit. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you decided to come and hang out with me. Check out these fun pieces from Shein. Definitely leave me a comment and let me know like what outfit was your favorite? Um, where are you going this summer? Do you have any fun trips planned? I cannot wait for my European cruise with my husband. It's going to be so much fun. So make sure you definitely subscribe to follow along with all the amazing stuff that we get up to on that trip. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button right down there if you haven't done so already, you know you want to. And I've got a couple more videos for you to check out. So check these out before you go and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.